doing? Hi, Melissa. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Not so wonderful. Why? What's the matter? Because it's too early. Oh. I don't want to be on the stupid 7 o'clock hour. Nobody's up. You're telling me about it. You're telling up. me about it, yep. Yeah, but you don't have to go on. Hello. That's true. You don't have to go on camera. <laughs> It's hard walking backwards at this hour. Though. I know it is, but you're doing a brilliant job. <laughs> I think you go into the hold it. Yes. Take Ashworth. <laughs> so one thing, I put it in the forwarded notes, and I didn't put it on here. You might want to write it down. Was that supposedly Melissa broke up with the boyfriend because he was webcamming with girls? Now, oh, oh, so you're talking about the ABN guy? No, no, no. No, no, no. The, the boyfriend she was living with that's featured on the show all the time. In fact, the breakup happens on the show, but it was her living boyfriend. And, and he was webcamming girls, and is that generally known? Is, has she, she talked about she it? She said on, it on uh, uh, Good Morning America. But she didn't really so. get into detail with yeah, it. Yeah, she wouldn't go in. Now, now she's with the guy from... Uh, from Vivid, <laughs> right. It's got to be worth a gazillion dollars. She, she was at the ABNs this past weekend. <laughs> she went? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. They were talking to Joe, uh, who's a girl, Girls Gone Wild guy. Joe Francis. <laughs> yeah. At least publicly, Joan's like very supportive. You know, he's a rich Jewish guy, so she's very happy for me. Yeah, yeah but uh, Joan didn't like the first husband. No. Uh, Joan Rivers has been around for... Hey, hey guys, I need a plug. I'm sure she's got a, t a ton of them. Uh, Joan and Melissa are here. They must be um, plugging the fact that they have a reality show that's returning. Yeah, it's a second season for them. Good for them. There we go. Thanks, Will. Bleh. Joan's uh, running around with her daughter, Melissa. They have a reality show. And it's on... What network? E? No. No, W-E. Yeah. We. Not E, we. <laughs> we? Uh, what's with Melissa. Hey, baby. Good morning. Hey, Melissa. Hey there. How are you? Haven't seen you in a long time. Who are you saying that to? Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Yeah, Melissa is a West Coast girl. Yeah, she doesn't come this she's way not, often. She doesn't need to do this. <laughs> Hello. Can I fix my Good morning. What's Good happening, morning. guys? What's happening? We're pushing our show because it starts tonight at 9 o'clock. What right is opposite it? Obama. I'm going to oh, turn great. Republican. Great. <laughs> hey, Melissa. How are you? Melissa, what's the arrangement? Is... Is Joan buy you a lot of stuff? Seriously? No. No support whatsoever? No, I mean, we're supportive of each other. No, I mean money. I'm talking moolah. Is, how does Joan work it? I mean, does you she spoil you? You she's being supported by Melissa? I mean, Melissa's being supported yes. by Joan? At this point in my life? Yes. <laughs> no. What's the arrangement, well, though? The arrangement you live a very be, big lifestyle. Yeah, no, I, I not Ish. like, not really. <laughs> I see your house on the reality show. It's a very substantial home. But it looks bigger on TV than it is. And, uh, not okay, my you, room. You were. Uh, what I'm saying is like, <laughs> what little room did they? Put but you were in? now. It's Why reversed. is your mom's room so small? <laughs> it's a made, guest room. Oh, it's a guest room. You know, room. in New York in the old days, they before political correctness, they used to call them maids room. <laughs> yeah, Joan, are you in the maids room? That's She's a, in the yeah. guest room. Right. It's amazing. So let's right, My mom's closet. living with me, not paying rent. <laughs> right. She's not paying for any food. No, but is is she is entertains Joan... at the house? But yes, is... I do. I absorb all of this. All my me all my many dates. Your many come dates come through, and they eat a lot. Joan doesn't Ooh. offer to pay for rent or like say, no. hey, let me help out with costs or expenses. What is your understanding of Melissa has a very expensive lifestyle? Yes. What is your understanding of how she's is she hooking on the side? What is she yes, doing? Yes, I am. Right. It's I've finally been outed. What do you think, Joan? And she's now in the porn industry. I am not in the porn industry. I know. She's well, we're going with the head of Vivid. We'll she's get terrific. to that. Mom, yeah. think, why don't you just take it and just hurl it out there? And by Joan, the way, I saw your early uh, tapes. Tape, Robin, you were great. What early days? Oh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, I'm vivid, you mean? Yeah. No, yeah. well, she's done some just a bunch of blowjob stuff, not oh, intercourse. Oh, that's the cat. Ask Clinton. <laughs> you, why don't you turn to Melissa right now, Joan? I'm, no jokes. I want everything off. Uh, I want all the jokes off the table. Sure. We'll get <laughs> real that's here. Easy. Yeah. That, that, that'll, that'll support me. Why? You are so bold and brave in your career. And, and, you're, and I've seen you on TV in England light into people and really give it to them. And yet you never turned to Melissa and said in all the years when she was married and these subsequent guys that you don't like the guys she dates. No. You now, stay how old quiet are your daughters? My daughters are, one's going to turn 30 soon. <laughs> no way. A, yeah. No way. My oldest, she's 29. Can you believe that? That's no. right. And I have a 26-year-old. Right. 
I know. With me, people still think I have little kids. Really? Yes. But I'm, they think I'm that a... with me with Cooper, too. Cooper turned 11 in December. Are you kidding? Yeah. Well, See? 11's a little kid. My but kids... still, I'm thinking Cooper's a baby. Yeah, exactly. And my youngest is in college, you know. Yeah. She's a, she's so, a tw- a nine, she just turned 19 today. Today well, is her birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. The old Ashley. balloons, the dead balloons. Yeah, they're left over from yours. Right. So, listen to me. Yeah, why don't I tell her I don't like him? You did not like her first husband whatsoever. I, I, I no. You did not? Not really. I like him more now. I really like but him But you now. used to say to me when she was married, because we would talk privately. Yes. You said, I do not like that husband of Melissa's. Right. But you never would tell her. No, because it's not who I like. It's who makes her happy and who it works with with them. You know that. But do you, you tell your daughters? Oh, are you kidding? I'm afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Have you That's ever... Just yeah, I'm just being honest. <laughs> I, they don't listen to me. Have you ever said... Have you ever liked anyone Melissa dated? Uh, yeah, I've liked uh, two guys that she's dated. A long time ago, I guess. Uh, no, I like Good John, mm-hmm. as we used to call him. Yeah. I thought did. he was terrific. You don't like the porno guy. Oh, I adore him. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I. he is Joan, so smart. Stop it. I'm telling you, he's not like... He's in the pornography ch- industry. He's in the... Ad- and so <laughs> is a Marriott Hotel. Look, I'm on <laughs> the guy who's <laughs> over. Yeah. So Joan, is a Marriott Hotel. They Joan, buy his product. Stop it. I know you many years. I tr- I swear. You're not pleased with this. I I'm Cooper's life. This is a businessman. This is one she of his really likes him. I, smart. And you a, like a, him? Yeah. UCLA graduate. His a partner went to Dartmouth. They're two smart Jewish boys who said, "We can do that and do it better." All right, but what about the fact that the women are fucking on camera? Yeah. And, uh, Excuse me, let's talk about the Kardashians think, and let's talk about think, uh, uh, Paris Hilton. But don't you think it's going to lead to disaster for Melissa? Eventually, probably. Right. Because he's surrounded, he is surrounded by gorgeous women. These yes. are women who want to get ahead in the porn industry. Yes. They're ready to blow yes. him. They're ready to fuck him. Uh, Melissa, what are we up to here? I mean, yeah, that How did this me? happen? Yeah. How, we were set up by a mutual friend. Really? Yeah. Completely... And, just innocently, like you guys would get along, and I said no, 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 no for a long time, and then. Does he want porn star kind of sex? Is he no. more aggressive in the no. sack? He's very normal. He doesn't spank you. No. Oh. He doesn't try to put, give you anal. No. Oh. Joan loves anal. Why? Yeah. But that's, you know, that's where we're different. <laughs> so it's so that's sorry. where we're She's different. Sorry for Everybody's always so. Joan. Well, like he, but he always says the same thing. It's like people come to his office thinking it's going to be, you know, an orgy in the office, and it's. People are very disappointed. It's a business. Why? And uh, let's be real. Your mother doesn't really live with you. That's for the TV No, show. my mother really does live with me. <laughs> Joan. <laughs> Wait a minute, Joan. What are you doing living with Melissa? She's with me four days a week. Yeah, I really, really like it Because of fashion police. You is that like really prisons? true? Yes. You know the Stockholm Syndrome? Wait, Joan. <laughs> That's me. I, I like myself. <laughs> Where do you live? Where do you live the other three days? In New York. Okay. I have the best life in the world. I go back and forth. And you have closet space in Melissa's house? Yes, yeah, she we took over my gym, my yeah. little, like, where my treadmill is. My gym. Which my gym, gym, which fits a treadmill. This is so sad. And has put clothing yes. racks up and I put a screen in front of it and her clothes are all over, are there's racks all over the treadmill you don't have a separate place in LA where no. you go to be by no. yourself I don't want it Do she you doesn't even have a with, car does that bother is, she, is your mother a burden I don't think yes. she's well <laughs> <Don't laughs> sip a coffee is she a burden <laughs> she's not a burden I'm a Jew burden she's not is a she burden a Jew burden <laughs> she's not a burden <laughs> maybe a little bit of a burden <laughs> Is, but but it, does she cramp your lifestyle? I have no lifestyle. <laughs> right. I know well, I have my son and my work. Let me tell you, uh-huh. I do. Uh-huh. I can cram it because I'm so far downstairs <laughs> that I don't hear anything. Would you going prefer on. your mother to have her own space, her own place somewhere? Would you I, prefer that? I think at two days a week it would be ideal. Thank you. Four, it gets a little <laughs> close quarters. She is so lucky. I like candles. I, I change things around. She moves I stuff around. When you hear that your daughter says she wants you there maybe two days a week, that would be a nice thing. <laughs> and that four is too much. Does that affect your decision? Not at all. Well, the other thing. Oh, is my... that true? You really are not offended by that? And you don't say to yourself, I, I got to give her her space? Oh, she's hurt me in other ways, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best is not the first term. Right. I mean, literally, my mom shows up. My dogs ditch me. Right. They've, the, my my housekeeper, my mom 
has completely bought off my housekeeper who now barely cleans when my mom's not there. And, and, and Because my mom just keeps handing her money. Yeah. So my mom's laundry gets done first, <laughs> like everything. It, I'm now the renter. But, but the, Try the, tipping them. You seem they to... They work for me. I don't need to tip people. I give a salary <laughs> to. I find that a little absurd. You see, you, you're telling me you're amused by this, though. By your smile and laughing, yes. you're amused by your mom. I'm most of the time. Right. You my son a, really enjoys it. You're a good sport. I'm a very good sport. Right. And, and, and patient. Right. And your sexual life with this new guy you're seeing, the guy I from... I can't hear him. From, from the dungeon. Vivid Entertainment. Well, how do you keep that... Do you do it in your house? Well, we only see each other on non-custodial days with our children. I see. Your, 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 your husband, your ex-husband has the kid, and then you can have sex. And then he comes back to my house, and my ex-husband can do what he wants to do. And do you ever watch the product <laughs> with him when no. he produces a porno? No. But He's, you went to the AVN Awards. Yes. Was that really skeezy? It was actually, I had a really good time. You it had was fun. hilarious. Yeah. So you're getting sucked into the porno life. <laughs> me too. <laughs> he, Joan, well, you my went? mom calls me and says, Is there, are there any swag bags? Right. All she wanted was a swag bag. What well, did they have in a swag bag? Well, I had no idea you know, there were Joan, any. Joan needs a tremendous amount of lube. Yeah, and lubricant and new kind of tickling. She sure. wanted a swag bag. Do you see any guys now, Joan, or are you completely done? I'm, I, I, I would like to, but there's nobody at this age. You're never going to see anyone. No, there's nobody around. The field not, has thinned. And Betty White, that slut, is out there taking <laughs> off the cream. By the way, is everyone getting a little tired of the whole Betty White worship thing? Honestly, Joan. I think it's wonderful because they now think I'm the young chick over at We. <laughs> no, but be yeah, honest. No, I'll be honest with you. Be, 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 I mean, I, I think Betty 90s. White is a fine actress and stuff, but I mean, the carrying on and the... Uh, but American... First of all, she's a nice lady, truly. Right, I, right. Mean, I, I think so. And very talented. nice lady. Right. That's but it's a one. bit much enough. But America needs someone to love. I think it's a lot of... We need We need someone. a grandma. We need a grandma. Mm. Right, right. And believe me, you do not want to be the grandma. You don't qualify. No, I don't want to be the grandma. <laughs> You don't qualify. Uh, listen, uh, you know, I was thinking about Joan for a second here. And by the way, we shouldn't talk too much to Melissa because Joan gets very nervous. No, you think? Yeah, yeah, she can't handle it. She can't handle no, it. No. Melissa getting attention? Oh, absolutely not. It's a big competition. <laughs> uh, Joan didn't get all decked out to be ignored. <laughs> Joan, I was thinking about you. When Elizabeth Taylor died, I said the connection between Joan and Elizabeth Taylor is very strong because if, if people remember their history, Joan, back in the day when people were very reverential, Joan used to go on TV and blast and make fun of Elizabeth Taylor. And I thought it brought you to a new level of fame and popularity. Yes, it did. So when she died, were you thinking, oh, I was too mean to her? Not at all. You, you did not have any regrets? No, everybody did. Seriously, we're talking seriously for a second. Everybody did Elizabeth Taylor jokes. Mine were just the best. They were funny. So everyone remembered me doing them. Every comedian had Elizabeth Taylor's so fat, fat mm -hmm. jokes. Right. But mine were the good ones. So it all looked like I was coming down. Her. And in the end, we kind of made up. As you much did, as well, no, you did a lot of AIDS, yeah, work, AIDS together, work together very much in the beginning. And when yeah. you say you did AIDS work with her, you were face to face with her? I gave it her? to her. And when, <laughs> no, you gave her AIDS. I, I thought so. I knew you had AIDS. <laughs> Poor woman. Joan. When you met her face to face, did she say to you, "You bitch, you 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 wrecked me"? No, you. we did the very early AIDS benefit. I got her involved in AIDS. I mean, I always thought it was her, but I, right. I, was, I got her. It was really you who was who and cured then AIDS. she took it over yeah. and and great. What happened to you? She yeah. stole it from Joan. <laughs> Stepped over me. I still have the heel mark on my cheek. Joan <laughs> had to go to penis cancer right. for, for, to, oh, to raise yeah, money. I take God up for that. Right. <laughs> so when you met her face to face, how did you reconcile? Because you were she, brutal to her. She said to Rodney McDowell, who was a friend of ours, because I had said to him, "Am I going too far?" He right. was a mutual friend. Because you never want to go to the point where it's really ugly, you know? And he said, he asked her, and she said, she doesn't get me where I live. She was so beautiful that she was so confident that it meant nothing. I've never mm -hmm. had that luck. You know yeah, that's yeah. right. I've that's unusual. Yeah. That's yeah. unusual that somebody wouldn't be affected by it. Not, if somebody was slamming me on TV every night, I would, I would get angry and fight back. But she thought when she was at her fattest, when you could put four wheels on her and, and paint her yellow and school kids would mount her. Right. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> she still thought she was gorgeous. Right. She and never knew that she never, hit the wall. You know when fat women don't know they're fat or when old women still think they're young and hot? Right. And that was Liz? 
Liz and there are a couple of others out there. Yeah. You right. know, in California, they still think, say, you know, I had one of these, those bitches. She entered a wet t shirt contest. She had a pacemaker. <laughs> she was electrocuted. Right? You know what's sad to me? When a good looking girl lets herself yeah. go, that's the worst shame. Because, listen, if you're not a good looking girl, God bless you. You might as well get fat. But you see someone like a, a, a Christina Aguilera, who is so. She has no neck. What happened to her, Joan? She Did she stop caring? I think she lost her neck in a poker game. <laughs> have you criticized her for oh, this? Is there a choice? Right, and she's been angry with you because you have tried to oh. yell at her to get skinny again, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's not working. No. The Donna no. Party could have lived on her for the whole winter <laughs> <laughs> and come out picking their teeth. Right. <laughs> but that's a shame when a good-looking girl lets herself, get, I think so. get, lets herself go. Don't you think so? Yeah, I do think I'm, so. Well, I mean, I don't know what's called. Causing that for her, I don't know what's happening in her life. Oh, see, she, uh, I try to understand. I don't. <laughs> Melissa always has to keep herself hot and thin, yes. right? Your mother would ridicule you. If oh, you for didn't. sure. Well, I get ridiculed anyway, so it's not a big deal. Did she criticize you growing up? Oh, your tuchus is Joan getting is too big. Joan is looking at you or, like ridicule. Oh, absolutely. Ridicule. Yeah, Joan. Joan must have been. You must. You. Must, I'm being serious now. You <laughs> must have walked around as a kid completely in fear that your mother was going to criticize you. She's very, very, very looks Judgmental, conscious. Huh? Right? It still still is. Does she comment still on your appearance? Every phone call I end oh. by saying, put on makeup. Oh, every <laughs> phone call. <laughs> goodbye. No, makeup and, is and important. And also, don't eat. That's don't eat. Thing. Don't eat. You're going out to dinner, don't eat. Right. Uh, don't eat. But, but your mother's great, right. She's got a great body. Yes, thanks she's to you. She's going out with the porn king of America. Right. It isn't the time to get flabby. Is it weird when you get naked in front of a guy who really is in the porn industry? Because he's been completely warped out, as I have. I mean, I see so many beautiful women over there. I'm warped out from it. I think everyone's hotter than the next person. So when you take your clothes off in front of a guy who's staring at porn all day, uh, I imagine it's intimidating. I really try not to think about it. Do you get fully naked in front of him? Well, or do you I, try to like get under the covers? When oh, you... I'm an under the covers girl. Are you? Yeah. Right, immediately. She's got a great boy. We went to Mexico, and she was running around her bikini. She looked fabulous. She did, and the boyfriend was there. Yeah. And he's looking you over, right? But, there yeah. was a, but she looked great. Otherwise, I wouldn't have let her be in a... Otherwise, you would have covered, covered me up. Room. Yeah. I would have <laughs> bumped into You Jim looked her over, right? <laughs> Joan, you, and you know your mother's looking you oh, over. Oh, always. Right? And, More than anyone. Right. And, and did you look for stretch marks from uh, giving birth? Did you look at it? Did you really no, look No, I don't have stretch marks. She, doesn't, she has a great body. If and you I saw, get angry because she doesn't show it off. If you, it, right, she should dress sexier. All right, thank oh you. Oh, my God, here we go. Even this outfit today doesn't reveal much, Nothing. right? No. She's covered up. And now's the time for her to reveal it, right, Joan? <laughs> That's what I say. Wait, what, you want to wait help me? <laughs> my Joan arms, knows. I can fly to California and back without a plane. <laughs> Joan knows that at one point it all caves in. But and I don't no feel offense. And, I don't feel you know your mother hangs in there, but compelled listen. to walk around with everything hanging. Yeah, out. why does Melissa have to do what Joan would do? Because Joan yeah. is in show business, and because she's going to hit an age where she's going to say, "Why didn't I?" Right? Why you didn't I? You think that, but you don't know that. Joan, what should Melissa be wearing? Uh, disrobe nothing. her now. Take it off. Take her clothes <laughs> off. She should be wearing, wearing nothing, just naked. <laughs> she has and a great heels. body. <laughs> have and you and seen and very high heels? <laughs> right. She wears and a whip in her hand. Let me see your heels. Let me see. I'm your not wearing. Yes, no. She's saying that she should be in high heels. She's I should be in high heels. Is yeah. anything less hot than flats? No. Right. She, I'm 165 years old, and I'm in heels. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. Beautiful. 165? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Come June. <laughs> you finally admitted your real age. No, but you're right. Because what, what your mom is saying, honey, I know from experience, when I was young, I should have I should have shown my titties. I should have done I should have done something with all, this, all of this. You know, your mother works hard on her, her look. So she's saying you're going to have regrets. You've got a gorgeous body. The way you're dressing today. Who should today. she be showing it to? Why should right. she be showing it but also to men and women? But Why not? You're, my mom's. If my mom, she's the one who wanted me to pose naked. Yes. In Playboy. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. What was the latest offer from Playboy? I heard you got another offer. No, I got an or, uh, offer from another porn company. How Ooh, much was it to me. do some sort of video? Fabulous. And wasn't it over six hundred thousand dollars? I don't even. Know. I think it. And it she was turned a lot it of, down, and yeah. I'm doing club dates in the Midwest. <laughs> I'm not going to do a What'd you sex teach her? Tape. I would say hello in Indian casino. I was I was raised with the, with with moral fiber. So so, uh, I how did that happen, Joan? And an education. Joan, have you seen have you seen Melissa nude, fully nude yes, recently? Yes. Where did you see her nude? Uh, I, I walk into a room unannounced, right? Where I come out of the dungeon. And is she fully shaved? Yes. She no, is. mom. 
What? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? I'm thinking legs. and I'm No, thinking, no, I'm hey, talking hey, about vagina. It's fully shaped. I did shaped. really look at it. You looked. A little bit. <laughs> it, was there a little bit of hair there? A little bit. Because you looked to see what's Me, doing. Though, initials. Right. Why, why do you keep a little bit of hair? Why don't shave it all off? Uh, because I think that's nasty. Why is that nasty? Oh, Robin to, shaves it all off. To me, it's not. Uh, mom, I, it, my, <laughs> mom, <laughs> mom, you get you. I'm so upset that she got a, a porn thing and she didn't tell me. I know a porn well, you, offer because she knows you'll push her into yeah, it. Yeah, you would try. You'd badger me until I did it. This is third season for Joan and Melissa. There's no question. <laughs> <laughs> that's our premiere episode. Joan, did I read somewhere that you went on vacation? With Cindy Adams and Judge yes. Judy. Yes. I can't think Cindy of Cindy Adams and Judge I, Judy. I know, isn't that hilarious? Oh, my goodness. I can't think of a worse time. <laughs> <laughs> the best time. Cindy First of all, Cindy adore. Adams, for I those adore. of you who don't know, is a gossip columnist. So she's about a thousand. She's a thousand years older than Joan. <laughs> and, and Cindy is my good. I know her forever. She's my first interview when I got, I got famous. Yeah. Call. Joan, yeah. how does she have all this money? I think she invests. She's brilliant businesswoman. Brilliant. Business what does that mean, brilliant businesswoman? I think she. You remember she was married to Joey Adams. Joey Adams said he was not a big deal comic. No, but was he, he made good money. He did. He made good money. What is good money back then? I don't know, but he oh, okay. he, he always worked. Right. He was like Freddie Roman. He did. He worked constantly. Constantly. Yeah. Okay. And I think she and he together knew a lot of people on Wall Street. You know, and they took anything she made. I, I'm just assuming that. Right. And they invested brilliantly. Is she a very wealthy woman? Yeah. She is. Yeah. And, and very generous, very generous. What does that mean, very generous? Very generous with charities, very generous to her friends. Hmm. And you and Judge, very Judge Judy... Is her best friend. And she's a top macher, that Judge Judy. Yeah, it, she doesn't shut up, right? She's great. That you so like her. I went to Williamsburg, Virginia at Christmas time, which everyone should run, not walk to. <laughs> really? Because you walk around, everyone is like the outfits. The, <laughs> they were dressed up like... They all dress Pil up. Like pilgrim, yeah, and you thing. all walk around, and you all eat cornbread. It's Are any of you married? Uh, is Judge Judy married? Yes. yes she's, she's married. married. To Judge... Jerry. Judge Jerry. And you and, and you and Cindy uh, walk around looking for guys? No, we three of us walked around, and you go back into history, and everyone plays the game. Right. You're, That's it, fun? It's fabulous. You I like mean, going back into history? It's a whole town of a pretending you're town. in revolutionary times? Yes. yes. I'd rather kill myself. <laughs> I had the best time. My mom, time. Cindy, and Judy. <laughs> Who's the richest? Judge Judy out oh, of Judy the three of you, probably, right? Because yeah. of the syndication it's of that question. show. Doesn't no. that burn your ass? Look at how hard yes, you work. Yes, it burns my ass because I never syndicated anything. Right. Never. Yes, In you a know. sense, you blew it. Yeah. I Judge totally Judy's sitting there judging. Yeah. And she's probably worth 50 times what you are worth. Uh, probably 150. 150. Times. You tell jokes. You do comedy. You're writing. You're she on the road. She doesn't write a thing. She yeah. just tells people off. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. Good you work if you can get it. Yeah. Do you resent her? No, I adore her. You, you it's do. not her fault. Right. You know, she's terrific. It's show business's it's fault. A, it's, somebody should have put me in a sitcom. Uh, I should have I known uh, Larry David. Yeah. Right. There you go. Uh, How about that, Joan? <laughs> now, now uh, yeah, right. You needed a sitcom. I needed a sitcom. Uh, uh, Melissa, the, you were dating a guy before this porn king guy. Yes. And you you went out with him for three years. Almost, yeah. Joan didn't like him. Not particularly. Yeah, do you Does she think... make it known to you? Do you know? I how was could so you not? Nice. She was very, but how could you not know? Yeah. Did... You, even second. my mother being discreet about something isn't... Why did your last relationship end? My last, uh, there was, uh, he was... Uh, the, the refrigerator emptied out. Yeah. No, he, uh, he was living, <laughs> he was, he, he was living a second life. Double. What was oh, the second life? No Double kidding. Life. Double life. You mean he had another family? No, not not that far. But uh, he was living a with having a lot of relationships oh. online. Oh. Oh, online. Dad, do you consider that cheating? It, it was to the extent that, in my opinion, it was. In other words, he would have like uh, online sex with these women. Yes. And you, how did you come to find out that your boyfriend was doing this? I, <laughs> the, I. Our computer was on a table, and I was cutting through, and I bumped into it, and the screen flashed, and I looked, and I thought, that's weird, and I pushed the mouse, and up came, he'd forgotten to close a bunch of pages. And wow. and so and so when you see this and he's like oh baby I want to fuck you Is he's not he's sex? not me he's not meeting with these girls as f I, I again I don't know because it had come to light that one of the tabloids had purchased emails of him soliciting people oh wow oh. now th that's the ultimate betrayal I, and I don't mean yeah. to laugh I was laughing because Joan was ready to chime in yeah uh, Joan you're very upset about this 
Uh, no, I was very glad it was over. It was certainly But it was, it was incredibly painful for Cooper and for me. I bet. I mean, Cooper got to know him for well, three years. Yeah. Three years. You probably thought might, maybe there was even a marriage. And, you know, we were, I, I was going through fertility treatments. Oh, wow. no kidding. You're going to have a kid. Yeah. Why do you think he hung in? Like, if he was having these feelings, why not go to you and say, look, uh, you know, hey. I think well, it was an ongoing thing. In, in, in hindsight, right. it turned out it had been going on for quite some time there were, I, I learned about all these different websites like Ashley Madison that I didn't know about right. or what these things were and apparently it was had been going on for about a year and a half and oh. when it, when you confronted him did he say listen I'm willing to stop everything no I didn't even you. give him that opportunity I was actually getting up to leave for work for fashion police and it was right. six in the morning and I was going to get something in the office and that's when I found it and I called him from work and uh. I said I'm done and then the next day I started getting phone calls from tabloids saying We've purchased these emails. So you're here to from say from Craigslist from people solicited on Craigslist. Are you here to say that Ashley Madison works because uh, I think it sounds it does. like he, he was really meeting chicks? Uh, and again, I, <laughs> what about I, top sponsors? Exactly. Yeah. And then the irony work? of uh, yeah. yes. meeting Stephen. Right. But the the interesting thing is this is all on Joan and Melissa. It happened oh, right. in the middle yes. of. Oh it my happened goodness! Literally. On a shoot day. Wow. So you're telling me when I watch the TV show. It's in real time. You disco- do on camera discover his uh, videos, his, his, his dialogue on the computer, and then you pick up the phone and call him and break up with him. Yes. And you haven't seen him since. No. That's it. That's over. It. After Done. all that time. Oh, I threw, now, the, how do you com- exp- how I threw do you exp- the computer over the balcony, the whole thing. How do, you explain this, how do you explain this to your son? Uh, are we being serious for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was incredibly painful for Cooper. Um, I taught, well, I tried to turn it into a little bit of a lesson about internet safety. Right. Because okay. we're at that, well, because he's at that age. Right. Where they're all on YouTube and this and that. And um, I just said, you know, people make mistakes and people do things that they regret and people talk, there's bad people out there online. Right. And you have to be very careful what you do. And... It was much easier explaining to Cooper what he did than why. So, mm-hmm. in other words, at some point you had to be very clear and say, listen, he was cheating on me with, uh, I just with these he girls. Was, I, I didn't go quite that far. I just said he was doing inappropriate, having inappropriate relationships with people online. Do you let him say goodbye to Cooper? Uh, yes, I did. You did? They uh, spoke Joan, on the phone once. Joan, That's right. They, I, had, and I made sure that Cooper always, it, I, I was very clear on, he had, Cooper had his phone number, Cooper had his email, Cooper could... I, w- I never wanted Cooper to feel that I was cutting him off from his relationship with Jason. Right. And I in- I made Cooper speak to him twice, even though he did not want to. And since then, I've let it be Cooper's decision, and Cooper has no, he's, he has no desire to speak to well, him. Well, because he knows that he hurt his, your mo- his we, mother. Well, and, and, and Cooper and I are incredibly close. I, you know, I share custody with my ex-husband, and Cooper and I are very, very close. Because it's always been just me and Cooper, where my ex-husband's gotten married and remarried and divorced and, and had another child. It's really always been me and Coop. Mm-hmm. Poor Joan is so jealous. She just wishes she could get some action somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Somebody, somebody be caught. cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> I was what he met on Craigslist. Uh, no, it's Coop. Such a but I, I went. I went crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild if your mother was seeing your was boyfriend you, yeah. on yeah. Craigslist? <laughs> a little creepy. Yeah. Meanwhile, Joan signed up for Craigslist. Exactly. Right. She, right. she immediately like, what, registered. <laughs> she's like, what were those websites? Has Cooper <laughs> met the porn guy, the porn king? Very casually. Right. Because we can't go through this again. Again. No, and, and you, I wouldn't allow. I wouldn't allow it to happen. That's why I'm very careful that we really only see each other on my non-custodial days. But he right. was with us in Mexico. He came down to Mexico. We had separate rooms. How do you put your? We had separate rooms. How do you put your? A respectful porn king. How do you have the <laughs> discipline to put your child's needs ahead of your own? Honestly, what because, do you mean? How do you have the discipline? Because you could easily say, oh, "Fuck it, I want to be with my boyfriend. I'm falling in love with this guy. I want to hold on to him. I'm gonna see him. Uh, I'm gonna bring him into the house." You could do that. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do. But do that. you are actually putting all of your fears aside and saying, "I got to protect my son." Right? Like maybe she's a decent person. Thank you. Are <laughs> you a decent person? How is it possible that Joan Rivers' daughter would be a and decent I person? I haven't. I haven't met. He's doing the same thing with his children. I see. So we're well, both there. Yeah, like you'd be a bad influence. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, you're Maybe the porn you should queen. introduce you to your children. Yeah. She'd be a real slut. To bring <laughs> yeah. So, but Joan, what does this mean? I, yeah, listen, Joan, despite what you say, I know you're a wealthy woman. What do you mean Melissa is living on her own without any help from you? She I don't believe it. She owns a part of Shoparati, which is very successful. What is Shoparati? It's a website that uh, my business partner and I created where we aggregate and curate all the top fashion deals of the day. And that's a money making operation? Yes. Shoparati? Yeah. Yep. What do you mean, Joan? Yeah. What are you, you're carrying 
going on like you know? Because she tells me. And what, what is she making on Shop Variety? I have no idea. You, she, you know. She's got two and a half. She's doing fine. She's producing, uh, what do you call it, uh, fashion police. Fashion police. Executive producing, which is going to an hour. Right. You I, like doing that still? That's where I, you make I fun of the, the people, how they dress. So, so much fun. Fashion police. So much fun. Right. So much fun. And then and then we're doing Jonah Melissa. Jonah Melissa, and then I have my website. <laughs> All right. Very good. What it's can okay. I tell you? And I do personal. We do personal appearances. I mean, you know how it is. You, but see, you're we so do, rich. Yeah, we do you mother daughter lectures. Yeah, you don't see. You don't have to go out on the road and like do personal Rose. appearances. Talk to I am going. I don't talk to Indians at casinos. You don't have to go to Indians, Howard. Yeah, you don't go. You don't have to go do <laughs> promotional things in malls that they pay right. you for because you've got so much money. You well, own this building. Listen, listen, I don't own the <laughs> building. You do. Own, you own a good portion of the building. I don't own the building. I'm not as rich as you think I am. Look, I had to take a second job. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's no, so I, sad. That's right. I have to now go out to that California yeah, and work. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll have dinner. Oh, that's I, right. The right. new show. I know a lovely room that I could get for you. Melissa's. You can get but, but Melissa's room. I, yeah, I'm I, will stay sub, at I can sublet. And by the way, as even when I was desperate, I never had to go into a teepee to make money. <laughs> like Joan. <laughs> Just remember that. Well, I am pleased to see that Joan and Melissa, a lot of people said it would not go into a second season. No, no. Everyone said it. No one no, said it. No one said it. I said it. Oh, right. No, no, no. Everyone thought it would never last, but it has. You know what I yeah. want to ask about got Chelsea? great reviews. I'm Handler. Yesterday. Oh. Are you, do you have a problem, problem with Chelsea? Chelsea Handler gave it to you, Joan, yesterday. I don't bit. even know who she is. Exactly. <laughs> You know when people? I don't know who you she is. You want to hear what she said or no? Yeah. All right, Love I'll play you. it. I'll give you the. I'll give you the short uh, version. Fifty nine seconds. Listen to this. But Joan I, Rivers I was critical of you at one point, wasn't she? Well, Joan Rivers. I mean, what, what the fuck do I care about? <laughs> you don't care. It doesn't bother you. Do you don't? You, it does. No, bother it does. You. I saw Joan Rivers the other day at E, and she said, "Hi, you know, her and that daughter." What, J- J- Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. And <laughs> you don't like Melissa? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't not like her. I mean, right. but I don't think about either one of them ever. So the fact that Joan Rivers, like, she got up and made this speech. We were at a Comcast event, and you know, they're giving me Conan's old stage at Universal. Right. They're giving me this huge stage, and so they announce that they make this announcement at this like critics. Association and Joan Rivers gets up and she's and she's like, well, I would like to thank Chelsea Handler for giving me a career in comedy. <laughs> and then says, oh. and then she goes and I and congratulations on your stage, Chelsea. She goes because I don't even have a dressing room. And I'm like, it's fuck funny. off! Like it's not my fault you don't have a stage of your own. That's your problem. Yeah, why is it related why you, to you? Why are you? I mean, she was trying to be funny in the most innocuous way without being. But I could tell, like, oh, this is a woman. And she has said, I've heard she said things about me. Mm. I yeah. don't remember okay. what they are, but yeah. First of all, never I, said anything. First about of all, you see how I stood up for you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and I was at that luncheon. It's not quite how it went. Let down. me tell you, right. number one, doesn't seem like so bad. The girl made it on it was, her back, fucking the president. We all know uh, that. Of the network. <laughs> number oh two. Oh my God! You promised you were not. Gonna no, say no, no. that. I'm too bad. No, she started. Now. Wait, Excuse maybe me. somebody missed it. What did you just say, John? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh. We all know how she got there. <laughs> Number two, she's fine. She's ordinary. She's not a genius. She's an ordinary girl that she was fucking somebody high up in the industry and they gave her a break and she's doing okay. I went over very nice. Joan, why don't you fuck someone high up in the uh-huh. industry? Because nobody sake. wanted me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, I went over to this thing that we had and I went into the room and s- went right over to her and said, exactly. Hello. She obviously has no manners. I don't know where she comes from. Jersey. But I walk over and say, hello, nice to see you. You say, ignored me. Oh. Wow. That's number one. Who the fuck do you think you are? That's number one. Number two, she gets up and they say, Chelsea broke into late night for women. Chelsea has started for women. No, they, said she, they said she, she, for, she gives so many young comedians their breaks. Their breaks. Right, right. And also a lot about women in late night. <clears throat> so I walked up with a joke. I said, and I want to thank Chelsea for uh, giving me my break. Uh, that's a funny. joke. But she doesn't have no jokes because she's not that clever. Huh. So that was number one. And number two, I thought it was very funny. And I said, E, we're really the same up here. Right. You get the big studio. I don't even have a dressing room. Right. That's funny. We got laughs. Right, right. So whatever she is, she's a drunk. She has her own show. I don't wish her good luck. I don't wish her bad luck. And she used to do jokes about Melissa and me before we... Mean jokes, you know what I'm saying? For right. no reason. When she was first starting, go fuck yourself in a pool, and as my mother said, in a teacup of water. Right. I didn't say the first part. <laughs> Why would you fuck yourself. yourself in a teacup of water? I don't. My mother, in other words, <laughs> what was with your mother? Go drown yourself in a teacup of water. Uh-huh. Um, I don't care. I don't right. think she's particularly funny. We all know how she got what she got. She's doing okay. 
Good. You're referring to the fact that she was dating Ted Harbour. Dating? Well, but she was living with Ted Harbour. Yeah, whatever. Right. right. What, cook, I don't care. But don't you come after me, you whore. Oh, don't you go, don't stop and needless me. to say, when we discussed this morning what we were going to say if this was going to come uh, up, it's not what I we really what discussed. She, what your know. mom said, you know what, I'm not going to act like it doesn't bother me. Did I walk in and put my hand out and say, hi? Yes. First the thing is, I just said the problem, I think Rude. the main problem is that in all the times we have ever crossed paths with Chelsea, Chelsea has never come over to my mother and introduced herself and said, how do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm Chelsea. Right. Which and she should do. Right. Because you know, after all, Joan is a legend. She wouldn't honestly. be there without me. Right. And you I know, never say this. And right. and I think that sort of was what started it. My mom's like, we work at the same network and you're not going to even come over and say hello to me. This is me in the hall. And this oh. has been for quite a few years now. That's not nice. No, no. And that's just bad manners in general. Well, so your mother and you had a discussion, Melissa. This they said, morning. Hey, listen, you, 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 you had a little, she, <laughs> you sat down and you said, Mom. Just let it go. Don't I think even give, you probably said, I'm guessing, if if Chelsea Handler comes up, act like you don't even care. Like, I said, just explain that she's never, that I think the main problem is why you feel slightly negatively towards her is that she's never done the correct thing to come over and say, hello. Hello. Right. And then when she had the opportunity a few weeks ago at this particular event, she literally made a point of not saying hello. That's a very uncomfortable thing when yeah. you walk into a room and people are not saying hello to one another. Yeah, I and especially over. when the president of the network is there. Right. And I walked over, which she should have come to me just age-wise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I just... walked over to her and said, hi. And, and I said hi and out. didn't acknowledge me. I'm like, <gasps> hey, and didn't acknowledge really? me. And Wow. Oh, oh boy. Yet I'm talking so to her let's... producer and her producer's talking to my producer and all the writers are like, we're all talking. And she's talking to Kelly Osborne, who's sitting right next to me. Right. Um, and Ignoring Kelly's you. kicking me under the table. <laughs> wow. So, you know, I love it. Who knew this was going on? I love it. Yeah, this is such and then, But right. what shocks me is what you said was very funny in the room. Very, I, you know why? You know why she's angry? I got the laughs. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, who always gets the laugh? Joan River. You're damn right. Damn right. <laughs> Listen, Joan. I don't know what's going on with you living in Melissa's house. I don't know what's happening. I think happening. it's lovely. Find out. But the, but Are you going to be renting a room now? Yes, I am. I'm coming out to see the you. The three days that Joan is not, not there. there. You I'll can shack take... up in Joan's room. Don't there you worry go. About it. Joan needs me. Do you need a lot of closet space? No, okay, closet. Perfect. I'll Listen, put up another clothing rack next to the treadmill. What outfits do I have? Listen, you've got <laughs> to see Joan and Melissa Rivers on Joan and Melissa. Joan knows best. And truly great reviews. So this is what I'm talking about. Life is good. Life is good, and you're still going strong, and you're, and you're going to be up speaking to the Indians soon over yeah, at the casino. I love those casinos. You, you don't, you're damn right you <laughs> do. It's a lot of fun. And if you do well, they give you a blanket. I'm not making a joke. <laughs> I get these great blankets from these. Just, do they really send blankets? Uh, at the end, if, if they love you, uh, the, like the chief comes up to you, and they give you a gift backstage. The chief gives it to you. Yeah, well, 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 and wampum they give you, right? No, well, they give, <laughs> my agent doesn't take wampum. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, listen. You should do what the natives, remember the pilgrims? When the Indians would give them a blanket, we gave them smallpox. So you should <laughs> yes, give the chief smallpox. To, That's to right. Chelsea. That's it. <laughs> and, 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 and what happened? You were negative about Tracy Morgan recently. No, I wasn't. No? You're okay with him? I, You're always in a feud. I, I, like life me. is good. That's right. Conan O'Brien, I know you don't like. I don't oh, like really? Him. You said he's arrogant. Is he arrogant? He's arrogant. What, what happened? He had a run-in with him, with him? No, he's just very arrogant. He just thinks he went to Harvard and the whole world is impressed. You know, you want to say he, we all went to, to uh, Ivy went, League College. You went to an Ivy League And college. that's what I'm saying. We all went to Ivy League College. We all went. Calm we, down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hate people that think they're superior. I'm not kidding. I'm so sick of... You meet these people and you say, you're lucky. Get on your knees and be T, what's his name? Tebow. Yeah. Tebowing. Yeah. You like Tebow. I love uh, just, What about Melissa and Tebow? No. No? Ah, uh, the Kardashians are for that covered. <laughs> <laughs> they but, got the sports world covered. Yeah, they got the sports world covered. But Conan. They got to go to porn. <laughs> in other words, there are a lot of young comedy writers and comedians who will come out of Harvard and they, you feel they act superior. No, I feel that, like you'll bump in some of the housewives. Right. You know, and they carry on like they're stars, and you want to say, calm down. Yeah. You're a girl with big fat lips, you know. And, and no one's going to remember you. And you're having a moment. Enjoy it. Right. Don't yell at the waiter. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't yell at the waiter. You got so much class, Joan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. 
Joan knows everything about show business. Is she seeing Cher still, or is that yes. really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, in the bathroom. They have dinner. I love Cher. Yeah, we When's have... the last time you saw Cher? About seven months ago. Did she ever bring up my name, no? All the time. Always talks <laughs> about me. <laughs> Your picture is over the bed. And you go into the bathroom and eat dinner there, right? We go into her bedroom. So weird. No, the bathroom, you told me. That's where they eat. No, they don't eat in her bathroom. They, everything goes on in her bathroom. Like, she entertains in her bathroom. Maybe Kathy Griffin told you that. No, you've told me that, too. I think it's a big bedroom, bathroom, bathroom suite. suite. You know, Isn't that weird? Do you like how weird. I translate for her now? <laughs> yeah. she, she lives like a movie star. Big right. house overlooking the, the Pacific. Uh, How's she look? Fabulous. The body? Fabulous. Tight? Fa well, I've never poked it. <laughs> and Chaz, she bring up Chaz to you in private? No. No one. She's no. not talking to you. She doesn't mention Chaz. No, we don't talk about it. I had Chaz on the show. He was lovely. <laughs> he was yes, yes. You know, he's going to get the penis now. Did you read that? No, yes. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to stretch his clitoris into a... What about Chaz and Melissa? Once oh. he becomes full... Oh, no, what, what do you mean? no, oh, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm very happy in my relationship <laughs> as it is. That one's not lasting. <laughs> Why not? Though. Because he's a porn guy. It's he's, not going to happen. He's a nice Jewish boy that happens to be... How so, long so, was his last relationship? Right. Ten years. Oh, okay. Oh, That's good. Twelve years. Okay. And why not Chaz? Because he's, Jew he's not Jewish? He's is not that Jewish. It? Is, is not Jewish. Just not my type. You think he'll get a circumcised penis? <laughs> of course. He, he, doesn't, he, want, he doesn't want to get disease. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's even talking about getting balls, testicles, where they, they're they fake. I can send my dogs. <laughs> right. But they're fake, but they're, they're going to look yeah, real. Yeah, but you know, if you want that... Why not? Get right, it. sure. Absolutely. Why not? Makes you happy? Right. Get it. And he seems happy. He seems very happy, and that's great. And right. all you want, you have your children, is you're as happy as your least happy child. But the, all the reports I read say Cher is upset, Cher can't deal with it. What well, is it? I think it would be a little difficult if one of your daughters came to you and wanted to have a penis and balls. I always wanted a son. <laughs> 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 all right, listen, we could yenter it up all day, but unfortunately we have to move on. I have to be professional. I love you so much. I love you too. Melissa, love you. Love and you. Uh, it's great. And uh, I am considering becoming a woman. I didn't want to uh, say that. That's really? Right. Yeah, well, then maybe you should donate. To Chad. I'll give him my oh. penis. I guarantee you his clitoris is longer than my penis. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. You got a heart, Steven Singer. <clears throat> Joan. Hello. Chelsea has unleashed the wrath of Joan. Uh, yes, she has. Yes, but I, I, I don't understand why she... Uh, I tried to be nice. I tried yep. to be professional. And I don't know who this upstart girl is and whoever she is. Go to hell. I couldn't care less. It's Next. not just about showbiz respect. It's about common courtesy. It's about it? common courtesy to an older woman, of someone who has started the industry, someone who broke nighttime barrier, and you walk over and you say hi, and uh, as every other comedian comes up to me and no, says... So it's, it's basically, it crosses into just common courtesy. Common courtesy. Common courtesy. If you see someone in a restaurant, I get up and say hello. I don't expect them to come over to me. Right. And if right. I see one of my mom's friends, I get up and go over... You say, hi, how are you? And I see it's just common courtesy. And you know, it doesn't matter. We should all live, all live and continue to live. Melissa, this wasn't the plan, though, going into the no, interview? No, this was not the plan going into the interview. <laughs> but uh, nothing in our life goes according to plan. Well, plus, once you're hearing the actual words come out of Chelsea's mouth, it's, it's a little more difficult to... Yes, absolutely. To zip your, yeah. Absolutely. I'm sure I'll be getting a call from the network today. Joan, who are some of the young female comedians who do give proper respect and, and do to you? I don't even expect proper respect and do. Uh, but the ones I, I think, obviously, Kathy, you know, is Sarah. Sarah Silverman, genius. Uh, Whitney. Whitney is incredible. And there's uh, Lynn Coplitz, who is just starting to break through now. It's so good. And there are, there are a lot that are just coming up again. You know, it's, it's, it's always somebody good around. There's always somebody funny and fresh. So they're not all Chelsea's out there. No, and again, I don't want to make this into a bigger few than it is, because she, I can't waste not, my time on yeah. negative. Well, it was a very positive interview other than that. Yes. Good to see you both again. Great, thank Great. you.